Hi sunshines and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday of a three day weekend. Who's excited? I am so excited. We have a crazy, stupid, busy weekend and I don't even care because it's three days. Uh, my son is playing his first game of the season. He has a new team and we're so excited for him. And what else is happening? Oh, Dragon Con down in Atlanta. Have y'all heard of that? My daughter has been wanting to go for years and years and years. And so we're taking her. I'm taking her tonight and tomorrow. And my husband's taking her on Sunday. So I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but she's so excited. You know the things you do for your kids, right? I have to say that I'm so happy. I don't want to wish time away, but I am so happy to be done with August. It has kicked my butt. Has anybody felt that way? First of all, my kids went to school at the beginning. I think they started August 1st and I wasn't ready. I wasn't. And we had a lot of change this month. Um, that was hard not bad just hard a lot of emotional things happen good and bad this month So I'm ready to just put it to bed. I'm ready to decorate I've been trying to clean all day and yesterday too I've been mopping floors and changing beds and I don't know cleaning so that I can redecorate the house for fall, but I don't know. Have y'all felt that way that August has kicked your butts a little bit? I am so excited for September to start. And I do have to say that on this channel, I felt a little stagnant on this channel and sort of in my personal life. So I'm mixing things up a little bit and half of my content for September will be non-unboxing. So the unboxings are not going away. There's going to be a lot of hauls. So stay tuned for those if you like them. There's going to be cooking videos and all kinds of different type things so i hope you'll like it i'm really excited for it i felt like i needed to do like a big mix up do you ever feel that way you need to do that in your life anyway all right so let's talk about play really quick play is a ten dollar monthly monthly beauty subscription box i personally believe it is the best of the ten dollar beauty subscription boxes for me personally it's what sort of made me more comfortable with makeup i did burt's and ipsy for a long time but because this is a subscription box that's also partnered with a store i find that that was really helpful you know i used to go to makeup counters and i was afraid to ask questions or if i'd work up enough courage to ask questions i'm not this way anymore i would you know ask a question about how do you put eyeliner on but then they would show you like four other products and i'd end up spending like a ton of money that I didn't want to because I wouldn't say no to all the products and then not really use them and then that frustrated me. I don't know. So when I started getting play, it sort of opened the door because there are beauty insider points in here that if you take to the store and purchase something in the store, you actually get free points to go toward free products, right? So that made me sort of more comfortable to go in the store and ask questions but it also gave me some really good feedback on skincare and makeup and what brands that I liked so here is the Beauty Insider card if you don't know about their program it's free to sign up you get birthday gifts on your birthday free makeup and um, all kinds of perks they're just doing a customer appreciation right now which that video is going to come up next week I did some damage at Sephora y'all it's was a little scary uh, I took Emma in there and we spent some money so that haul will be up next week stay tuned for that Sephora you usually end up getting six samples sometimes you get a perfume sample and sometimes you get one foil packet so they sort of um, flip-flop them last month we didn't get a perfume sample so I'm sort of hoping that is in there this month it looks like the theme is called beauty school does that not make you want to sing beauty school dropout from uh grace anyway so here's the little bag it always comes in a little bag and it says back to beauty school what do you guys do with these bags if you get the subscription i feel like i save them for a long time and then i just do a big clean out so i'm not really sure all right the first thing in here is by way this is a shampoo and conditioner it's a repairing shampoo and conditioner i've had a ton of products from way i really like their products they're a little bit pricey i have found that i like them so i'm happy for that i know a lot of people don't like foil packets but for me i don't mind them i feel like every once in a while my hair will start to act funny and i'll switch a shampoo for a day or two and then go back to what i normally use and my hair kind of goes back to normal so i'm always happy to have these sort of in my arsenal all right the next thing in here is by Ciate it is the glow 2 highlighter now I have to say I have never had that might not be true I can't remember having a lot of Ciate makeup I did do the advent calendar at Christmas their nail polish one which I love and still wear that nail polish uh, and love it it's a great formula speaking of which 
I'm already thinking toward Christmas. Are you guys wanting to see beauty advent calendars again this year? Let me know if you do. So this is a highlighter. It's really pretty. And it says a long wearing shimmering luminizer in a pearlescent pink hue. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Okay. It's really soft. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, I don't know if this is going to show up because it is a pinky color. Oh, there it goes. It is sort of a pinky color, but it's pretty for fall. Adding that little bit of pink when you're wearing fall colors, I think is going to be gorgeous. Okay, I actually need a Z palette. If anybody could recommend one, and if you don't know what a Z palette is, it's just an empty palette that's magnetic in the inside. So you can pop these little pans out. We get these from subscription boxes a lot with like eyeshadows and things. You can pop the little pan out and stick it in the empty Z palette and all your little pans go in there. So they're not just like running around your makeup bag like this. They tend to get broken that way. So if you have a Z palette that you really like, let me know. Cause that is one thing that I don't have and really do need. All right, the next thing in here is by Makeup Forever. I do love their lipsticks and I love their, their little baby sizes. Matter of fact, the lipstick that I have on is a little baby Tom Ford lipstick that has lasted me forever. This is a highly pigmented lipstick in a soft rosewood shade with a smooth satin finish. Okay, y'all, I'm just gonna, we're gonna dress the nails. I went and got my nails done at the, the Manny Petty place, which I don't usually do. I only do that maybe twice a year because I just don't like to sit there, to be honest. But I feel like every four to six months, you need to go in and get, or I do anyway, get everything shaped up and then I can kind of do them myself the next four to six months, you know? So I went in and I got this gorgeous color. It's by China Glaze. I can't remember the name of it, but I actually ordered it. I found it, I took a picture of the bottle and ordered it on Amazon. So it just came in today. So I'm gonna repaint my nails. Do you guys do that? You find a color that you love at the salon and then just order it for yourself. Anyway, let's get back to the lipstick. I just wanted to tell you why my nails were so bad. This is beautiful. Hold on, I don't wanna put it on top of this highlighter. Oh yeah, 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 me likey. That's pretty. It's a little more pink than it's showing on camera. But that's beautiful. A nice rich shade but not too bright don't you love these little babies I think they're so fun okay the next thing in here is a clear brow gel this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills I have to say I don't have I mean I have eyebrows but they're blonde they're hard to see so I do go through with a gimme brow the number one and um, kind of just do a little bit to them. I don't just do a lot to my, my eyebrows. I don't really know why. So I don't know if I will use this, but my daughter, if you guys have seen her on my channel before, she has the most gorgeous eyebrows. They're thick and beautiful. Um, they actually come from my husband. And um, so I'm gonna be passing this on to her and I'm sure she will love it. Cause I just won't use it. You know, that's the great thing about having a 15 year old teenage daughter who loves makeup. She's always happy to take anything off your hand that you'll give to her. Okay, so this is the Way Volume Spray. So something else by Way. All right, so it says a volumizing mist that adds long lasting body texture and shine to your hair. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I do have a volumizing spray, I think from Caviar that I've really liked. I'm almost done with it. I don't use it very often because I have very thick, full hair anyway. Wow, that stuff works. <laughs> Look at that. I have hair bigger than Dallas now. That's pretty cool. All right, I like that. It is making my hair shiny too. Smells really good. Ooh, okay, I like that. I like when people's hair smell pretty or when my hair smells pretty. I just, I don't know, it makes me happy. So that's fun. And then I think there's one more thing in here. This is by Lancome. It's the Genifique Youth Activating Serum. And I think I actually have another one of these in my face bin. I, I, if you're new to my channel, you might not know, but because I get so many subscription boxes, I actually take what I get and divide it into bins. I have a nail bin, a hair bin, a face bin that's like face masks and serums and things, a makeup bin, and a body bin that has like body washes and 
body bath salts and all that in it. So I do believe that I have another one of these in my um, face bin. So that is great because this little tiny size I feel like with a serum isn't enough to really tell if the serum works. But if I add two of these together and use them over several weeks, I hopefully will be able to tell if I like this. I'm a total serum girl. I love them and I haven't tried this one. So happy for that. So that is my play box. I hope you enjoyed it. It. Um, I will leave the link below in case you want it. My name is Christy. If you're new, I am so incredibly happy to have you. Please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you. Actually, I will see you tomorrow for stitch fix and then hopefully the next time you see me I'll be a little bit decorated for fall so stay tuned bye bye